Yeah, so this is home for the next 10 days. For my birthday, which is my big one. Where's Yoda? He's here to... Hi, guys! At the Fish at the Nose, it's an Emily Norris video. It's like a wedding set up. I only mess in to pack it in. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I wanted to show you this little game that we've been playing. My bucket list. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. Won't yeah. get away Hi. to a place where we don't know. Uh, about to see. Distractions will get away. This is what we waited for. Oh. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. Oh. I'm done living life with the lights out. Okay, so that is flight one all done. We've arrived in Qatar. It is midnight where we are, but it's actually 9 p.m. like at home. So the kids are doing really well. They were so good on the flight. Um, so now we're just gonna get our second flight to the Maldives. Woken up. What did you say you're gonna do in the Maldives? I'm gonna fly my lots. I'm gonna count. Um, gonna count how many stingrays you can find. Yeah. My hand will make it somehow. We can't miss out. Oh, I'm done living life with the lights. You there, kids? Nearly there. Jackson, what's our journey so well. been so far? What have we done? We got on a taxi to the airport. In London, and then How long was the a first plane, plane. Six hours. Seven. Six hours. And then a two hour stop then, in Doha. Then we um, went to the Qatar and we went on another plane for seven hours? No, for five, four, four and a half hours. hours yeah. And I went to sleep and I woke up and, um, and we were, I woke up and we were at the mall. And well, we're now in the Maldives, baby. Mum is really unhappy. It's Woo! Look at that. Wow. They're right there. Oh my god. Kayla, that's legendary. We're just arrived in the Maldives. I don't know if you can tell, but I am very tired. That was the longest journey we've ever done. It was a seven hour flight, then a two hour wait, then a four hour flight, then a bus, then a speedboat. But we saw dolphins. I don't know if you saw that on the video, but we saw dolphins on the speedboat. And now we've just checked in and we've got our room. So I was gonna quickly give you a little tour around. The boys are already in the pool and the view is incredible. So. 
I'll show you around. So as you walk in, this is our bedroom. We've got a big double bed here. And then we've got another little bed just over here. And as a family of five, this is amazing because we also have two beds just here. So many hotels now, we have to obviously have two rooms. Fraser's 12, so he's classed as an adult. Um, but yeah, this one we could all have together. And then look, go straight out onto the balcony. Got this little, oh my gosh, the boys are in already. In their pants because we didn't have the luggage. And then look, the sea is literally a stone's throw. Guy, do you want to see this? And then look. And then look, this is our beach. Oh my gosh. Look, doesn't this look like some kind of turtle hole? Oh, or something. Yeah, so this is home for the next 10 days. And oh my gosh, I am so excited to be here. And I also wanted to show you the toilets because it's so cool. It's all outdoors. So if you go back here, why is there a scale? We don't want that. <laughs> um, this is the toilet. It's outside. So as you walk in, there is the bath and then a lounging area, an outdoor shower. There's the couch. If you go around here, there is the actual toilet. And then there is also another shower as well just through this door through there yeah so really cool it's all outside under the sun now i'm gonna get changed into my swimwear and join the kids because it is hot okay so i'm just watching the boys in the pool now and then we might go in the sea later it's literally i think i showed you this it's a stone's throw it's literally just there so yeah they're just in the pool at the moment i'm just trying to like chill Hang out on the sun lounger. Matt's gone to the dive centre to ask him a question Fraser? about an excursion. days time you may be able to tell I've got a bit more sun now but I was just downloading some of the footage for the vlog onto my laptop and I realized I haven't actually really talked to camera very much or said where we are or why we're here and I've had a ton of questions over on Instagram about the resort we're staying in and stuff but we're staying in a place called the Sun Siam Olu Veli. Um, I basically booked this trip by myself and I felt a bit nervous about it because Matt normally Normally books all of our trips you know looks on TripAdvisor reads the reviews really does his research and stuff whereas this trip I really wanted to book and plan because I've always wanted to come to the Maldives it's a place we looked at for our honeymoon but it was the wrong time of year to travel here the dry season is February March April I think uh, whereas we got married in July so it was the wrong time of year to come so we ended up going to Bali in the end which was equally amazing um, but for my birthday which is my big one i am turning 40 next week which i can't actually believe when the kids were babies i used to always work out how old they'd be when i'm 40 or when i'm 50 I used to think, oh, you know, when I'm 40, I'll have a 13 year old, I'll have a 10 year old and I'll have a seven year old. And it's just crazy that that is this year now. Um, they're just so grown up and actually this holiday has already felt so much easier. Um, but for my 40th, I really wanted to go on a trip. I didn't want to party. I don't want any presents. I just kind of wanted to book a nice, memorable trip. So I actually booked this about 18 months ago, two years ago. And I think at the time, Time, it was a bit scary to book because we were doing all the renovations we really couldn't justify it but I thought if I just book it I can slowly kind of pay it off 
over time leading up to the trip. It's been really nice to have something like this to look forward to. Um, and so far it's stunning and this vlog is gonna be a bit of a highlights reel. I'm not gonna vlog every single day because I thought I'll have a few days off just chilling and also make content on TikTok and Instagram as well. You guys may have noticed on my channel, I've been making like two videos a week where I used to make three videos a week, but it's pretty much just because I'm finding now all the platforms require so much video content like TikTok's video, Instagram's video, Facebook Reels, YouTube Shorts, like there's so much other video content whereas I used to make my three YouTube videos and then just share a few photos on Instagram. It's really changed. So I hope you guys don't mind. I'm doing shorts. I'll do as many videos as I can. I'm really enjoying TikTok and stuff. So if you don't follow me on those other platforms, I'll link them all down below. I've also got a home Instagram account. Like there's just a lot of content to make. Uh, so on this holiday, I thought I would vlog like a few of the best days, um, show you guys the highlights as well. I did consider not even vlogging the trip, like just relaxing Matt. Like let's just have a trip, but I naturally love sharing. Like I am an oversharer. I love taking videos and photos of what we're getting up to. If that makes sense, I do just really love it. Um, anyway, I'm sort of rambling now. We booked parasailing now, We've been snorkeling every day. We've been paddle boarding, kayaking, all of which you'll see in this video. And it's just been really relaxed. It's the kind of holiday where you don't have to put makeup on every day. And I was actually nervous because when I booked this, I booked it through a travel agent because I found it really confusing that there's so many islands in the Maldives, there's so many places you can go. And I was like, I just want someone to tell me where it's best to go. So I spoke to someone and I said, you know, I've got three boys and I really don't want to ruin someone's honeymoon. I want to go somewhere where there is stuff for the kids to do. And she recommended this resort. I think there's other great resorts for kids as well. Um, but we just booked this and obviously got the like family of five villa which is a major plus for us um, and yeah it's been really relaxed like the kids haven't really made friends because it's been very much just like we've been hanging out as a family but it's actually been so nice because the boys have been bonding together really well like we've been playing a lot of uno a lot of double a lot of sushi go we were taking it to like every restaurant playing lots of card games and just like reconnecting as a family which has been really really special um but anyway as i said i'll take you through what we get up to but i thought i would just say you know we're here for my birthday and where we are because that's been the biggest question over over on Instagram. Um, but anyway, I'll stop waffling now. And the kids are at the door. Hello. Um, so yeah, let's go. Searching for something that ain't lost. Have we got our lines crossed? We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter. While wishing for something better. Fix things that weren't broken. Misunderstandings. So it's our second day in the Maldives. Yesterday we pretty much spent it just getting over jet lag and looking around the resorts. We went for dinner and stuff. But I thought I would start vlogging today. It's actually Valentine's Day today. So we've got a few things planned. We've got dinner on the beach a bit later on with all of us. But so far it's just been amazing so stunning perfect temperature it's like 28 every day and it's just been a bit of a dream so i thought i would show you a bit of our trip we have some snorkeling trips planned we're hoping to go snorkeling with turtles manta ray i really want to do parasailing for my birthday <laughs> um, so we might even do that and i'll just take you through what we get up to on our trip Do you want to film? It comes out of here. Okay. Hi guys. Today 
looking at the fish at the moldy to an Emily Norris video. Okay, we're gonna go show you the fish which are at the rock, which is right outside of our room. The boys are playing frisbee over there. And Jackson wants to show you the fish. Yeah, I can show you. Yeah. Um, and there's lots of crab. Yeah. yeah. That's crab world, where all the crabs are. Okay. So look, if we go down, maybe we'll see some. Hello there. Okay, so we're on our way to lunch now. We're actually going to a pizza place on the beach because we went to the beach yesterday and we saw it and they were like wild. I think they were parrots, weren't they? Little parrots? Yeah. Um, like tropical birds just landing on people's heads and shoulders. So the kids are really interested. Um, so we're gonna go there now. We're also discovering that you do not need shoes in the Maldives. We were wearing them for the first few days, but every restaurant pretty much um, is just sand and you don't actually need them. So we're not wearing them anymore. I brought like four pairs of shoes with me. Shouldn't have bothered. A glass of sour milk. Oh, How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from Wait, so we far get away? Show us where we are. Banana split, yeah. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down? So we've been hanging out, swimming, and in the room we've got ready, and now we're off to a special Valentine's dinner. We arranged something on the beach. They do this little like setup, so we thought we would do it for the five of us because our children have always hated. The kids club um but actually it'd be really nice to have valentine's day dinner with all four of my boys Cheers. um <laughs> sorry matt <laughs> um so yeah we're off there now it's going to be dark i think our table's for seven and the sun goes down um at 6 30 so it's gonna be dark there but i think they like like candles and stuff on the beach so i'll show you what the setup is like we're really looking forward to it and we're just on our walk we're all barefoot again <laughs> aren't we jaxie and we've got Yoda, haven't we? Where's Yoda? He's here to ruin all the family photos. Oh, Yoda. <laughs> He's been in all the photos, hasn't he? So yeah, let's go. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. What wonder? Okay, so we've just arrived at our table and I think their idea of romance and our idea of romance is slightly different. <laughs> There's a few tables beside us of people that are going to come very soon and we're a bit worried that they've been sat next to a family. <laughs> But they're so well behaved. Aren't they? But they are being very well behaved. Um, but yeah, Matt's, they're also building sandcastles. Matt, yeah, they're just like it's so cute that they're running around on the beach. Yeah, there's a couple just arriving. So I think I'll stop vlogging. <laughs> yeah, over. Yeah, and then you go this side out in, in, and then whatever in. now is now on the out. You go in, and then you go. It's not really cool. Caleb, look, I lost my leg. Get my hair done. Caleb, look at my leg, I lost it. It's got to be cheaper than the spa. It really makes me wonder. So this morning,
morning we're having a floating breakfast. They've just come and brought it and put it in our pool. <laughs> so there's like croissants, full breakfast, loads of fruit and stuff. So we're all going to share it. It's for two, but there's so much food that um, we're going to all have it. <laughs> gonna cry when you're gone guys so now we're off to dinner and tonight we've booked a Thai restaurant on the beach so we're just walking there now got a little bit burnt today feeling a bit crispy which is ridiculous because I spend my days like we're creaming up the kids and then I just didn't really cream this part of me basically we went snorkeling again and I think we're just in the water for so long and I just didn't reapply and I'm feeling a little bit burnt <laughs> um but yeah we're off to dinner I heard you want to leave this place But we grew up this old town Just put it all behind Remember you and I Would always find somewhere to hide When we were kids So we could see and hear the water run The river's gonna cry when you're gone We're on our way to dinner And we've come across what looks like a wedding set up so We've just had a few photos But look, they made this little heart in the sand with coral and flowers and they've got this little bit here and the sun is setting <laughs> and then there's people sitting over there it's a bit of a bar there's bats as well we've spotted some bats haven't we boys very cool gonna cry when you're gone 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 we gonna cry when you're gone 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 Okay, so we've just finished dinner. It was absolutely delicious. And now we're walking to the entertainment and there's like a manta ray point where you can look at the fish. But on the way, we've seen bioluminescent plankton. We've heard of this. And it's basically when in an ocean, when you mess with the plankton or you basically yes. just step on the plankton, it lights up. It is just like Avatar. Like it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's basically sparkles at night. So I've got to show you uh, what it looks like. Look. Wow, <laughs> look, so we're all on the edge of the beach and as they're walking and messing with it, it just lights up. Look, the plankton. Ria, Ria. How cool. And look at the bottom of my feet. They're glowing. That's so so then when you, and then when I walk in the land, look, it like glows. So you've got flashlights yeah, on. Wow. And then run along the edge, show them what it's like. As you step on it, it lights up. Look at this. It's literally like Avatar, you have you seen? Oh my goodness. Never seen anything so cool. So I think we're gonna play here for a little bit. Wow. Hopefully this is picking up. So after that bio 
luminescent plankton, we decided to walk to the end of the dive pier because they light up the sea, so it attracts the flies and then it attracts the fish. And there's loads of rainbow fish, really big fish, and apparently they get manta rays sometimes as well. So the boys are just leaning over, like having a good look at it. And sometimes turtles, yeah. They said sometimes. We haven't seen one yet, but there's like fish jumping out to eat stuff, which is really cool. Okay, so we're back now and all of the kids are exhausted. So I'll say goodnight from the most adorable little sleepers. I'm sleeping in here with these two. Matt's in the other room with Fraser. Night. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's a new day and we're actually on our way to lunch. We've just been hanging out in the villa up until now. But I wanted to say, you know that bioluminescent What's it called? Plankton. Plankton, thank you, uh, that we saw the other night. We didn't realize, but we were so lucky to see it. We showed a waiter, um, like a little video on my phone, and he was like, oh my gosh, like he's from the Maldives. He's never seen it. And he said, some people come to the Maldives just to see that and don't always get a chance. It's apparently only turns up in two places on this island, and we just happened to have dinner near it, I happened to see it, and it was really like bright. I'm so glad that I vlogged it, because um, we went back the next night and it wasn't really there. There was like the tiniest bit, but it just wasn't the same. Um, so, feel super lucky to have seen it. Don't we, Jaxi? Someone told me, <laughs> someone told me that it was fake. Did they? Yeah, they, they, they put it there just <laughs> it's to- not uh... fake. No, someone, I actually put a video on TikTok of it, and someone wrote this quote from Moana. You know that if you've seen it, you'll know. He goes, oh, I see they've, what was it, Frey? You know the bit with the big crab, and he goes, oh, I see. They've taken a barnacle and covered it in bioluminescent algae as a diversion. That bit, someone commented that and really made me laugh, because I completely forgot about that. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're off to lunch now. I've got my pirate hat on today. I saw this on parrot. ASOS. I basically Googled like holidays or holiday accessories and then this came up and I thought, well, that'd be good. Cause you know, sometimes you're parting like burns. I thought I'll wear that, but um, the boys say I look like a pirate. Yes, yeah, so anyway, we're off to lunch. Got Matt here. You having a nice time? Amazing. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's paradise. Yeah, I think we were saying yesterday is probably the best holiday we've ever had because it's so chilled out. Like, I don't know. A lot of people are asking about like stuff for the kids, aren't they? Mm. But ours are quite easily pleased with a pool and the beach. Yeah. Not a lot of children. Yeah. But there is, we play badminton, there's, there's tennis, table tennis. Um, yeah. Ours don't go in a kids club, so yeah, they, they don't do the that. Club. So we couldn't comment on what the kids club is like, but yeah, for us, there is a kids this club. Far, go on, sorry. And my wife interrupts me every time I try and talk, so uh, I just sit in the corner. Can you just hold it? My arms are <laughs> <in> <laughs> That's the only reason why she's talking to me. <laughs> I'm like, Ouch! <laughs> Got me pirate. Look what are you say? I'm a one take wonder. I sit now. You can't get any more out of me. <laughs> Never held the yeah. camera like this. I know, right? It's hard. I might start you need my own muscles. channel. <laughs> Yeah, no, ours, ours don't love a kids club, do they? No. But um, they love swimming and that obviously we've been on holidays like Dubai and like sightseeing holidays where there's like absolutely loads to do, like Disney. It's just very different. This is really like zen, It's relax. what we needed. I might actually go to the spa one day. Yeah. Um, no, you're not. Even I don't really love spa treatments, do yeah. I? Anything um, to get away from me. Yeah, might just give it a go. But yeah, anyway, we'll show you what we have. We'll show you what okay, so we're back from lunch now and we're just playing in the pool and I wanted to show you this little game that we've been playing. It's called the Instant Whirlpool and you basically all walk around in a circle for 30 seconds. Then you start jogging around in the same circle for 30 seconds and then you run around for 30 seconds and at the end of it you stop and try and turn and go the other way but it's pretty much impossible because of like how the current is going. So I thought I would show you, it's quite a fun one to play. We've also been playing like, what's it called? Ping pong in the pool. And they've been like, we brought these little balls and like waterproof gloves as well. But I thought this was quite cute. I'm in the water with Craig. I'm gonna see this. Carrying him. Oh my gosh, you're so strong. 
He's heavy as well. I think I've actually caught the sun today. <laughs> but now I'm just gonna have a shower and get ready because we're going parasailing. Okay guys, so it is parasailing time. We've like washed up after swimming and we're on our way now. We need to meet them at quarter past five to get on the boat and then catch the sunset, which normally is set by 6.30. So I think like six o'clock it will be going down and we'll be up there. You're only up there for 15 minutes um, and everyone else will be on the boat. I think Fraser's gonna do it or Caleb's gonna do it, but we're gonna go and do this. It's something I've always wanted to do and I'm actually feeling quite good about it. Maybe until we get there. But when I was young, I felt like I was a bit Golly. adventurous. But since having kids, I'm just not. But I feel like this is quite safe. Because worst case, you'll just fall in the sea, right? Right. And you'll be fine. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to do this. Ready, Daddy? going in now because the boat is looking a little bit closer now very close so they're just pulling us in lovely and peaceful we actually i think i said it we saw a turtle which was really exciting you didn't mention that. and the sun was setting and it was really beautiful and as we were coming down i could see jackson was like dancing to the music on the boat um but yeah it was quite chill wasn't it frey yeah, i think he's glad he did it glad he gave it a go didn't you yeah um yeah now daddy needs to try it 
I think you would actually really like it. Oh yeah, I'd love it. Yeah, it was lovely. So yeah, we're only up there for 15 Can minutes, but Matt thinks we've got about an hour of footage because yeah, everyone yeah. was taking camera footage. I was filming on footage. two cameras. Yeah, so you sorry. You were filming on two was, cameras. Yeah. So we'll try to we cut it down We played for 15 minutes, we've got it. an hour. <laughs> yeah. But that's one thing ticked off my bucket list. So now we're going to go for a cocktail and then we're going to go for dinner. and it's actually the first time we've set an alarm for this holiday but we had to get up early for our snorkeling trip we're doing a three-point snorkel today so we're hopefully going to see turtles going to see sharks and going to see fish so we're getting on a boat in a second and I'll try we might get to see whale sharks one day we might get to see whale sharks might we I could do it yeah are you gonna do some snorkeling today so let's go see some turtles. I'm so excited. In case of emergency, you can blow this. Oh no, don't tell him that. <laughs> He's gonna blow it all yeah. the time. <laughs> okay, so we're on the boat now and the first stop we're gonna do, they said, is to see dolphins. So they said 15 minutes from here. There's been like sightings over the past couple of days. So we're gonna go there first, to see if we can see some dolphins and then go to sharks. So we just swam with sharks and I could not believe how big they were. They went to the place where they normally are, like the shark point I think they said, and they fed them and they were eating it and it was almost like they were saying thank you. They were swimming so close to us, letting people touch them on the back and it was just amazing. I had no idea they'd be that big. I don't know if I would have got in if I knew that. <laughs> but hopefully we've got some good footage that you guys have seen. And now we've just got to Turtle Point and um, the boys are in, in the sea over there. Caleb's here, Jackson's over there, he wasn't sure. Um, I'm gonna go in as well and hopefully see some turtles and fish.
Okay, so we're all done with our trip and we had the best time. We had such a nice instructor who was called Inch and he just seemed to really know what he was doing and know how to find the sharks and the turtles. They did say when we booked it, like it's very 50-50 whether we see them or not. They said they, like dolphins, they're really smart and they don't feed them. Like they don't, what did he say? They have the, like they don't have the ability to feed them because they find their own food. Is that what he said? Yeah. Whereas like the sharks were like really appreciative for the food um, and the turtle, they don't feed them. They just know where they like hang out and stuff. Um, but it's amazing. Fraser swam down with them, didn't you, bub? If you come here, I think the main activity is snorkeling, but going out on a proper snorkeling trip was definitely worth it. And I don't know if we would have got in if we'd known the sharks were that big. Hey, hun. <laughs> Matt was like, I yeah, don't know if I would have got in if I knew they were going to be. Fraser, they were going to be small. We thought they were going to be the little like baby reef sharks because we bigger than me. Yeah, they were literally as big as you, weren't they? Um, they are he said they were called gnar sharks. Gnar sharks. Gnar sharks they were. No, they weren't. Um, <laughs> Caleb and Jackson didn't get in, but I kind of don't blame them because we were way out like in the ocean. Jackson did at one point get all of his stuff on and Caleb, they got all of their stuff on and they actually got in for a minute and then I think they looked down and were like, no, I'm going back on the boat. So they just hung out on the boat um, and chilled out, but that's fine. We'll try again when they're older. We'll definitely have to come back, won't we? That's a good excuse to come back. Uh, yes, yeah, a good excuse to come back. One interesting thing that Inch was saying was that the reef before the tsunami was like much like it was like fuller or richer there was so many fish but he said it, it was so affected by the tsunami yeah so nearly 20 years ago he said the reef is growing back but it's like very slowly growing back um so he must have worked here for a long time um but yeah it was amazing we had a great trip and um now we've just come for a drink in a bar and then we're gonna go for lunch oh, you yoda had a good time didn't he? He looks a bit green from the, the sea. <laughs> He's not, he's already green out of here. Jackson, we were only here for three hours. How long did you sleep for? I didn't sleep on that. Your little no? snooze. Oh, you're just closing your eyes laying down. I didn't realize you wasn't sleeping. It's like a car ride though, isn't it? Yeah. It just makes you. Well, Caleb. I'm going to draw all Look of the puppy playtime characters. Be awesome. Wow, be awesome today. That's so good. playing in the pool all afternoon and now we've all had baths and showers and got ready for dinner and I'm wearing my favorite dress ever tonight I bought this for a wedding and I just love it so much so I'm wearing it tonight because it's the second last night of our holiday uh, it was quite an expensive dress so I've tried to wear it as much as I possibly can to like really get my wear out of it um, and I've also got these little earrings on that I love these are from and other stories they were really reasonable sorry Jax is using the toilet while I'm talking um, and I also wanted to show you this product it is a Chanel bronzer which I love as a cream bronzer but once I'm actually tanned on holiday I just use this as foundation it's like a creamy foundation I'll show you what it looks like it literally looks like this and I just use my foundation brush to put it on 
on um, and so that is what I'm wearing on my face tonight. There's no point in curling your hair here because it's quite humid and well my curls anyway they just fall out so I've just got it straight tonight. I've done a little bump um, so yeah let's go! day in paradise today and when they cleaned our room this morning when we went to breakfast they wrote happy birthday on the bed because obviously I booked this for my birthday which is in a few days time um, but yeah today we're pretty much just going to soak up as much sun go snorkeling play in the pool as much as we can on our last day here and then we're also going to have some photos taken today so I've got a bit of makeup on uh, when we go on holiday we always really like to book the resort photographer for the last day of our holiday because we're all tanned by then and most places you go have their own photographer and the session's always free to have the photos done you normally get like 30 minutes with them and you always get like a free print as well so even if you only like one photo you can get that but we tend to always like quite a few more than that and then I always tend to buy them digitally so they can like email you a link or just send them to you or give them to you on a disc and then I like doing that because then you can like print them out yourself at home. Yeah but as you can probably tell we have had the best time. It's been such a magical 10 days. We've had experiences that we've never had before, may never have again, like the parasailing, swimming with sharks, turtles, the snorkeling. It's just so naturally stunning as well. The Maldivian people have been so kind and just really, they're so chill and like it's just like a really nice vibe about them um yeah it's just i think it's gonna be really hard to ever top this holiday and we will definitely be back one day maybe in a few years time um because it's just been the best ever um so yeah ask me any questions you have in the comments i've had loads of people over on instagram and tiktok ask me about the resort and what i think like for us it's just been brilliant just easy nice good food yep yeah, i hope you enjoyed coming along with us and seeing what we got up to on holiday normal content will resume as usual we'll go back to cleaning and real life and cooking and all of that good stuff but thank you so much and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>